It's not enough to just have your content on these platforms. You have to allow them to interact with this content. They're not just passively sitting back waiting to be entertained. Most of the time, they're going online because they want to connect and communicate with each other. And that means that we want them to connect and communicate with the stories that we're building. We're building these stories for this audience. It makes sense that when we're developing these stories, we ask them, what do you think? Is it something that's appealing to you? Do you want to watch it? Would you be involved in it? And when we develop these types of stories, we develop them through various ways, through using comic books, digital comic books. Collider for us, which later became a feature film, started as six comic books that we released online as e-books and asked people to download. And then we did some like stop-motion animated shorts, which went online on our YouTube channels. We saw where the audience was going. We read the comments. We saw the feedback. So from where we're coming from, you should be developing using the online audience and the resources that are there. So again, these are majorly significant platforms for content providers and content creators to really invest in and have their presence stand out here. And there are a number of ways to do that. Um, but now it's become a thing where, because of, I think because of TV commercials, that people are so used to digesting a lot of information in a minute or 30 seconds that I think that has more to do with it than, uh, than, the, than the technical revolution. I, think there, I don't think there would, be, there would be the capacity to do that if we already didn't understand how to watch <coughs> things very quickly.